before I explain my vote, allow me to recognize uh, the family of Senator Peralta, who is on the floor uh, here with us today. Uh, clearly, the senator was incredibly passionate about this particular issue. Uh, and I know, uh, even during my short tenure here in the Senate, I know that he was incredibly dedicated to his community and his constituents. Uh, and I don't want my opposition to this particular piece of legislation to take away from uh, his life's work uh, or his family who are with us on the floor. I'll offer a little bit of a different perspective than uh, my esteemed colleague uh, that we just heard from. Uh, I have, uh, on several occasions, uh, conducted uh, surveys on this particular issue back in my district. The latest one last week, 85% of the people surveyed oppose this particular piece of legislation. Most of them say that they are struggling to afford college tuition for their own children. Uh, many of them say they're struggling to pay their own student debt. So today I stand with those folks who oppose this legislation uh, and it's the people that I represent. I stand with the people who oppose this bill because it sends the wrong message to legal, hardworking, tax-paying, middle-class families uh, who are struggling to afford college tuition for their own children. It sends the wrong message to the millions who've worked their way through college and are still paying off crippling loan debt. Any resource to make college more affordable should first go to aiding these struggling New York families and help re relieve their crippling student loan debt. Instead, what we're seeing today is my colleagues across the aisle roll out the red carpet for illegals approving costly legislation that rewards them with free college tuition at the expense of hardworking, legal, middle-class taxpayers in New York. And for me, this is an issue of fairness. Uh, while my colleagues across the aisle give free college tuition to illegal immigrants, they do that while legal, middle-class families scrimp and save. While legal, hardworking taxpayers work a second job, and while legal, Middle-class families go deeper into debt trying to meet the rising cost of education. So who is helping these families? Certainly not us by way of this legislation. I, for one, support helping hardworking New Yorkers go to college and achieve their dreams. This year's state budget should provide more financial aid to those New York families that I have just described. Like families uh, who have written me just in the recent days, Trish and her husband from Endicott, I represent these folks. And they write, my husband and I make $1,100 over the allowed amount by Excelsior. We have two children, we had two children in college. We could only afford this college education by taking out high interest loans. They both dropped out instead of making us take on more debt. So while some seem hell bent on pushing the middle class down, I will proudly vote no today on this bill and stand with Trish and her husband and so many more New Yorkers who feel the same exact way. 